What's going down, everyone? And we got some serious news we need to talk for NVIDIA. Uh, CES is starting to come to a close as it gets towards the end, and they're announcing, like, oh, I don't know, KO versions, which are downsized versions of the, like, Supers, which is a pretty good entry if you look at, like, the, uh, the new AMD cards that they're introducing. They're basically giving you a $20 improvement over it with just a little bit less than what the supers are having so it isn't it's really not that bad of a card if you really think about it in a long-term type situation so those are pretty cool to check out the new ko's that just like rolled out which is very interesting because it is an evga which is an exclusive nvidia um graphics card producer and they're the only ones that are producing it so basically nvidia had to scramble because of what amd is doing in order to get this done but not a bad thing they came together with some really rock solid stuff so i gotta admit they what seemed like was rushed was very well done rushed so it's like it makes me wonder what they're gonna do once that the big navi comes out and that's already supposed to have a 17 percent like um performance gain over a 2080 ti which I noticed that there are some performance bumps around to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some information, shall we? As you can see before we jump into benchmarks, CES has brought the game ready driver and they were the first to jump out the gate. AMD did theirs yesterday and they have a smart shift that I'm going to be covering to see exactly how that does work with the performance boosts that they're boasting about. The introduction for today's, which is NVIDIA's, and their four variant of the 8.7 you look at what they have for the support features for wolfenstein youngblood ray tracing the new g-sync compatibility on the displays and a ton of new features so let's dive in so with the world's biggest technological event being hosted directly inside of las vegas besides its coupling awesome event that happens later on in the year which is computech these are the drivers that basically will give us more of an introduction of what we're going to be seeing for the platform of the year. Since this is basically Q1 as we push forward, they're introducing a lot more stuff since it's a trade show and they're trying to show off what they can do for the future of what the years to come. As we look inside of it, the variable rate sampling, that will be something that comes into more VR fresh for as far as what you can see inside of the split screens. So you can kind of see a better drawn out portion of where you can kind of get the better imposing portions for like the VR, as well as the image sampling update that they have, which I thought was pretty cool. And since we're on the list of things that we can scroll over this new freestyle filters that go into the split and the blends across the screen on top of a maximum frame rate for a battery saving or reducing latency. So these are very cool functions, especially if you are a creator trying to limit your PC from not overheating or doing too much while you stream or record. So these are the functions that might be able to help you tune that. As we dive into the portion of maximum frame rate as we go down on the information highway and saving power and more of what they're boasting indirectly in the portion of it, as you can see that now that the frame rate and the 3D application games and you're going to be opening up the application in order to do that going under where the saving power application is where the 3D settings and then look for frame rates and it should be very easily located right there and then you can dial in and tap in and go from off which is native which is going to utilize the full maximum power going down to the on where you have the low minimum of 40 FPS as the lowest you can cap it at at its maximum all the way up to 240 depending on if you're running with other styles, so you can give yourself a nice variant portion of it. But that's pretty cool. But going on to the variable sampling and the improving image quality for the VR, as you can see right here, the VRSS is the technology that's an image quality improver. And that situation, what is going to be eight times the super sampling of the center of where the VR is. So they're finally getting down to the point of, yeah, your peripheral is going to be blurry because naturally it always is. For most people that are not really paying attention, you can't focus on it, but for the most part, when you're focused forward, your more focal point is directly ahead. That makes sense with it. Now, looking at the bone performance of what they have and the typical portion of the works and the performance, you can see that the VRS versus super sampling is exponentially higher for FPS. So it's definitely something pretty cool. We're testing on the RTX 2080 Ti and they had a old school Kirby like a i7-67K. There's nothing wrong with that processor. It's actually pretty good, especially if you feed it a lot of RAM, which they have. 
that's actually a pretty good setup right there um, looking at past that situation where you can actually go into there and being able to change these settings you can go directly into the where the format rolls out right here variable adaptive and bam you're basically always on or you can go to the point where it's able to functionality get to it and as you can see where the v um rss off and vrss on the light comparisons as you can see the dark sampling is where you are getting more of your hdr sample darknesses as you can see where before it really didn't look that detailly good it just looked like someone just slapped a lot of dark to cover up a really lot of bad and you kind of get that when you're editing you'll start to see a lot of other framework where that but you can click on the link of this and it'll take the video to that which pops it in and explains a little bit more of the breakdown because i want to try to get to this and a little bit more of the um, breakdowns of the numbers of what we did because it was actually very surprising um, looking at what they had for the support they have all these direct games that are going to be right there for as far as that now one of the freestyle split screen filters to showcase your creations when looking inside of the over 700 games you can always press the alt f3 for the um, nvidia freestyle and that will allow you in order to adjust and the gameplay you can basically do anything you kind of want from there also you can press the f uh, function three of what you can go into the Nvidia freestyle but if you want to go into a snap in a game photo in that situation it's the alt f2 uh, with the latest game drivers which we're releasing the split screen you have the creation for as far as the modification in the communities for the split screens in which you can do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can kind of see where people are drawn up right there and else they have right there where you have your side by side and you can bring popping elements out of those certain things which is very nice and yeah, that's good stuff the split screen there's the blend there's a lot of stuff for as far as really cool reshading portions and redownloads um, so you can do these with the customizations for as far as what you can go right there and you're going to have your typical portions of what you can do for the reshaders on github now the image sharpening improvening what they're going even further improves your experience we've received the introduction of the standalone with the image sharpening with the filters on nvidia's control panel which improved already on the DirectX 9 through 12 on the vulcan and the OpenGL applications and the games and the base and the feedback now looking at portions of it what you can actually do in the image quality is you can jump in there jump to more sharpening as well as the gpu scaling it's a more enhanced version of what they were kind of getting at before within situational points of pushing it a little bit farther with the envelope but you don't want to sharpen too much you'll find your blend depending on what card you have and what setting you're going for for the further validation of the g-syncs and what they're actually looking for as far as the situation and you can kind of see let's see if we can see the improved gameplay what they're talking about for as far as like oh okay they're just trying to sell me on the 1660 but no thank you sir and or ma'am anyways let's go back to where we were before which is right over here as we get down to the portion of the very tail end of what this is you can kind of see that this g-sync has definitely added a lot more to the list and if you are on directly here you can go directly towards those uh footnotes that I put in the descriptions down below to see if you are qualified into this new update or as far as the game ready update drivers for the ray tracing update for the young blood that was pretty tight and if you are playing this definitely leave a comment down below I'd like to hear what you are doing uh, with this lovely portion of um, ray tracing technology is it super amazing on top of that the game ready driver for quake 2 the rtx version 1.03 which is even looking even more ba considering that this was one of the very first ones that they kind of started putting shaders on top of uh, for what was going on top of ray tracing the optimization and the playability is in the settings for more games you can see that they basically have listed those down directly right over there for as far as what they've updated inside of there for as far as the uh, simulations now as far as downloading and all this other fun stuff you can go directly here and you can download there now let's go ahead and get down to some talking points of what was actually patched through and fixed on top of that because this is just showing what's changed because there was a huge change now you can definitely look at the release logs and everything down this in detail which I've pulled up for people but more importantly what I'm looking at for as far as the information highway goes is looking at the bare nook of what actually is happening and cool thing is that this is Nvidia's direct site on reddit which they 
post discussions and you can kind of chime in every so often and a lot of the gaming companies pay attention a lot to it, especially amd they love listening to it and so does nvidia so you can always rely on just hitting them up and getting the information you want so you can see right here one of the red dead redemption vulcan applications improved for the image shader inside of the vulcan mode for the 2781732 on top of this strange uh, braggots and the vulcan implication also in the g-sync not working for as far as what they've fixed inside of the games for the players who are playing on the sli modes um now these are just bare minimum fixes it doesn't seem like they did a lot past what they actually shaded in and you know we can see right here which we already went over i i'm not going to go directly inside of there which it kind of has and I, one thing i did notice that they forgot to mention um monster hunter for the support um on the situation that's interesting as well as bright and if so there are some things that it's kind of nice to kind of come inside of there where they give you more details on top of the 33 games more to take out so on top of that situation of what else is uh, important open issues for windows 10 tom clancy uh definitely has an issue with the vulcan and the g-sync when playing the games in the vulcan mode uh, the g-sync enable flickers occurs after switching between the full screen to the windows mode around to uh working to that is either disable g-sync or utilize the api other than the uh, vulcan so looking at past that situation, you have the Windows 10 for Doom on top of there for the GeForce uh, 600 and 700 series, the GPUs, that crash. On top of the situation of the low latency mode, uh, background apps may close when launching uh, the Battle Eye games with low latency on the mode in the Ultra. On Windows 10 only, as you can see making the list almost prominently except for Windows 7 on the bottom, the uh, Youngblood SLI performance drops may occur when utilizing two-way SLI modes. Doesn't that defeat the whole point of doing SLI? Yeah, I guess. That sucks. Uh, looking at past that, Red Dead Redemption also has another SLI portion of the benchmark crashing when the Vulcan mode is SLI enabled and the graphic settings are set to Ultra. Now Windows 7. The War of Worldcraft and the Battle of the situation of DirectX 12. The game crashes when switching between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. So with that, let's go ahead and get to our benchmarks and I can show off what I dealt with today. So you can see right here, I have a fire strike test pulled up. This fire strike test, which is pulled up directly right here, is the brand new driver, the 8.7, compared to the 8.6, um, six which would basically be the variation which i would hope to be the working one but it's not really so when comparing these two together so you can see that i have a sea of fire strike tests down below and all of which have different frequencies which you're going to the very very bottom one which is the 771 which comes from the 66 variant of the drivers so you can see that that works decent and then when you compare it to the one that's right next to it, you're like, whoa, night and day difference. What's going on here? Well, the night and day difference is the driver update, but that was with the fans full throttle. Now, the one right next to it, the 771, is with fan just normal on its auto clock, which takes to it very nicely. Now, above that, as you look at the... 24798 which seems very close again that's the 66 so the two that are encumbering the 88 um, driver update which is the 24891 which seems to be beating both of them i mean natively at that situation full throttle fan and just not really doing much which isn't really that gaining when you look at the, the throttle fans going up when you look over at the other three tests which line up right there which is the 2405 you're like wait what's going on here the frequencies are almost matching on everything when it goes down there what happened well when i was looking at it what basically boiled down to it which i ran into a lot of bad tests and you can kind of see the next one which i gained 500 points um, from, from figuring it out and then also you see a huge drop right there on the very below where you got to the 23 and I even got down to just I saw it 23,000 and this is why I'm going a little bit more in depth into this test is that 
what they basically did is they did make it run better but when you run it natively against itself it fails because it's running too hot so you're literally gonna have to go inside change your settings i had to boost my clock settings all the way up to the top for it to even like kind of recognize hey i can do better than what you're asking and like i thought that that was insane that i had to do that and like i went through trying to test if there was bloatware um i even went to say well i need to reinstall the old update which i went back to uh, which i'm currently rocking at the very moment that ended up happening it and it was across direct x11 direct x12 and ray tracing where it took a hit across the board until you basically cooled it down so if you are running into issues after this update and I could go on for days with the scores that I have. You just gonna if you are subscribed to the network and you definitely have dug it. You can definitely trust that your boy Mac did the homework to see that where if it was DirectX Fire Strike eleven going into there being like almost about a almost a thousand at certain points to almost a thousand five hundred points, which is drastic. Um, down to the portion of like the overclocks of the Fire Strike Ultra and as well as the Extreme, I noticed the same exact thing. So it was across the board. There wasn't any like edging point where like on some of the updates where it's like, okay, I can see they tuned 4K or they tuned 1080p or they did, you know, DirectX 11 over 12. And, you know, it's like, it's very easy to kind of see where they're moving the architecture as they're kind of writing it to kind of see this is just a direct cross the board everything took a hit so if you are hitting those issues with your cards try tuning up your fans a little bit and it definitely will work but if you just want something that works natively with your physically gpu and it was working fine go back to the 66 and don't worry about this update quite yet if you don't need the new settings i would definitely say wait for the next update and subscribe to the channel for free today to find out when the next update definitely can. and i'm going to leave it at that your boy max signing off saying thank you very much for spending your time here and i'm very excited to see what the future is I, i've seen a lot of um what is it nvidia had in their ces booth that i was filtering through information through watching other creators as they had a, a cool ryzen uh, 4800u tethered to one of their gpus that made it run really well so maybe they're getting more friendly with running it into tandem especially with updates like where amd is dropping like their smart shift which is pretty cool where you can utilize a gpu cpu right in tandem but i think it really relies on the adrenaline 2020 software so you would need to have the gpu running with the cpu so i think it's vice versa and i need to investigate that to see but I'm going to leave it at that. I need to get some rest. Um, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And who knows, if you subscribe today, maybe me and Rick and Morty will go on some crazy-ass adventure into the boys of South Park. And then we'll go on another crazy-ass adventure to the boys and gals in Futurama. And then it's just going to be like some surf and turf of an amazing anime. Because I think Rick and Morty technically is classified as an why but it is a a anyways look it up i think it just sla slaps it under like the animation section but i will see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech related updates